Hey guys, and uh, we're at G2E here in Las Vegas. You know, on my program, I have been picking on politicians for years, senators and congressmen, because most of them have their head up their rear end, but every now and then you find one that's on our side, and such is the case today. I'm with State Senator uh, Raymond Lesniak from New Jersey, and I think you're the first senator I've ever had on my show, so congratulations on that. Well, congratulations to you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I just listened to your speech in there, and I must say how refreshing to see someone with their head screwed on straight that sees the big picture uh, in this and is not operating with some degree of hypocrisy. Uh, you know, New New Jersey, there's there's some debate on which state's going to go first in the U.S. There's no debate. New Jersey's going first. We're gonna, we're going to get there, and we're get, getting there soon. My legislation uh, got re released by the Senate committee. Uh, it's going to be voted on next week by the full Senate. It's part of an entire package for both the casino industry and our racetrack industry. It's going to be presented to the to the governor, and I don't think he's going to have any option but to sign it before the end of the year. So you heard that here. First, New Jersey this year legal yeah. online gambling. That's yeah. your prediction. Yeah, w without a doubt. I'm, obviously, we have to uh, put forward regulations and and put RFPs, and so that will take some some time. But we're very well versed in terms of regulating uh, gambling, to say the least, because of our our, our our casinos and our strong posture in terms of uh, licensing them. So we're in good shape to get this uh, rolling as soon as possible. One interesting point I wanted to close out with was that uh, while you were talking, you had said that you were going to allow uh, you know people from outside of New Jersey, even maybe outside of the United States, to gamble. Not outside of New Jersey, not, not any other states. We're precluded from that. Specifically, we won't allow that. But uh, other countries, sure. And I understand what you're getting at is we may be raising and we will be raising international trade issues. That's right. I mean, if you guys remember on the show just uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe last week I was talking about uh, in 2006 how the uh, the UIGEA caused European nations to cause a stink about the United States not abiding by the General Agreement on Trades and Services, the GATS Agreement, under the WTO, the World Trade Organization. And now here we are, uh, Foxwoods was talking about uh, going into Europe, and now you guys are saying we're going to take, allow players perhaps from Europe to come gamble online in New Jersey. Uh, will New Jersey residents be precluded from gambling at a casino online, say, from Europe then? You know, again, that I don't know, but I do know this. We are going to be raising World Trade Organization issues uh, by taking international uh, uh, gaming in New Jersey and showing how juvenile our federal government's policy is with regard to gaming. It, it makes no sense. We're trying to isolate and segregate something that people want to do, they do do, they do everywhere, and we create a, a mass of restrictions that's, that's unconstitutional and also, quite frankly, just dumb in terms of uh, governmental policy. I appreciate your candor, sir, and thank sure. you for being on the show. My pleasure to be here.